If you spend any time with your Linux desktop and the command line, you're probably aware of FFmpeg. Yeah, FFmpeg is a absolutely incredible project that I think has been going for many years. Now, I'm not really going to be doing a video about FFmpeg because you would need many videos to do a video about FFmpeg. So I'm going to focus on one specific element of FFmpeg that's not often talked about, but it seems appropriate for my channel. And my channel obviously is about minimalism. Well, it's my attempt at minimalism. I don't know if it's successful, but FFmpeg has one particular tool that I am going to focus on in a minute. But let's first actually look at what is FFmpeg as a, as a whole and the Arch Wiki basically does its attempt at explaining what it is, just in case you're not aware. Just in case. So let's have a little look at the screen. So here we go. FFmpeg is a complete cross-platform solution to record, convert, and stream audio and video. It includes some codec. Okay. Well, an extraordinary codec, a library of codecs. So that really doesn't do it justice in a way. In a way, it's quite a humble, humble um, summary of what FFmpeg is. It is just a really, I think, in a way, how I describe it is a complete suite of video and audio editing. I mean, it's got cross-platform solution, but it just, I don't know, it seems very humble. I don't know. Don't know what you think. It is the I don't know. I don't even I don't think I could give it an adjective to describe how amazing it is. You could get lost in the documentation of FFmpeg. The things that it is capable of are extraordinary and it works on the command line. And of course, it's not just FFmpeg. It's a complete suite of tools. So I'm just going to bring up a uh, man page. We'll come back to HTOP in a minute. So as you can see here, I'm on something called FF Play, and this is really what the video is about. I'm going to be looking at FF Play, and FF Play is part of FFmpeg. And it says here, and this is what it says, FF Play is a very simple and portable media player using FFmpeg libraries. Okay, so it's to play video. So if you imagine MPV, which I have briefly covered in a previous video, just to demonstrate the frame buffer, and don't worry, we are going back to the frame buffer as you can imagine where this is going, but I want to show you something important. So if I do, um, let's see, let's see. So we're going to look here at our HTOP. So as you can see, we're running about 3.8 gigs, okay? 3.8 gigs. That's This is running FFmpeg now. This is recording on my X11 screen. So if I bring up another uh, terminal window and as you can see here I've got uh, a video the Linux frame buffer is magic so it will be appropriate for this video so I'm just going to do FF, uh, FF MPV the Linux frame buffer okay and we're going to play that video now if we look at HTOP remember MPV is very very minimal okay well I say very minimal I don't know compared to other players, but it's very minimal, I think. And it just works, it's got all the codecs, whatever. So look here, running a minimal um, MPV playing my video, and it's running at what, about 3.3, 3. Okay, it's jumping around a bit. We'll say 3.3 to 3.7, whatever. So if I go back to that, right, so remember, it was about 3.3 to 3.7. I think that's right. Um, and it's gone back to, down to 3.2. So what did it use? Like 100? No, what am I talking about? Yeah. Uh, what's that? About 100 megs or so? Anyway, we're going to get a, an impression now of running FF Play. Okay, so we can run it from the terminal FF Play. And we can put this in. Now, have you seen any of my videos previously? And look. Well, it's interesting. It's using. It seems to be more using more CPU. Maybe not. I don't know. But look at that. Half the size it seems of 
MPV. Imagine that, half the size of MPV, and how small is MPV? Okay, put it in the comments, smart people, if you think MPV isn't light. But look at that, half of MPV to run uh, HD video or whatever. Impressive. But what is even better, what is even better about FF Play? So we're gonna come out of this. Like MPV, we can run it in the frame buffer. Mwah. How cool is that? So you've got MPV and FF Play. So if you're really in some sort of bind, I don't know, maybe using some really low powered device, you can run FF Play and whatever video or audio, whatever you want in the frame buffer. How good is that? There are maybe a couple of downsides, although uh, I'll be honest, um, I'm not absolutely sure. So obviously with MPV, I will do this in a video in the future, you can map uh, or configure MPV, you can change the keys, what they do. So with FF Play, um, it's got a, a few um, key shortcuts for while playing. So Q to escape, F to full toggle screen, P and S, P, C to pause, whatever. You can mute and toggle the mute, decrease and increase volume, cycle audio. Okay, left and right keys. So you're not getting VIN bindings. Now, there might be a way to uh, configure um, FF play to use VIN bindings, I don't know. But um, we can explore that another time. This time it's just to show you the power of this tool, the power of FFmpeg. Just look at the bottom here. So this is all these other little um, programs, I guess, within FF Play and FFmpeg, and you know, your FF Play all, and I guess that's literally to play loads of videos. I don't know, and be interesting to look into this. So what am I going to do? I'm going to show you it running in the frame buffer, of course, because everyone now loves the frame buffer, thanks to my channel. So if I go into, if I find it, if I find it, is this it? Okay, so, uh, I'm in the virtual, virtual machine. So as you know, I can't, well, I probably could some way do it, but I'm not going to. I'm running this now in a virtual machine. I've got the same video, the links frame buffer. Now, as you know, if I do MPV, uh, should play yeah and obviously in the frame buffer oh, sorry in the frame buffer in the frame buffer it doesn't run slow it doesn't run slow okay um, oh sorry this is not in the frame buffer my bad my bad going mad right pqi free okay so if i do uh let's do set font uh is it ter 132b okay so here you go, we're in the frame buffer of the virtual machine. So I can continue recording, okay? Um, so if I do MPV, so with MPV I have to do, what is it, VO equals DRM. Not the DRM you're thinking, if you just go back to my old videos. So here we go. Playing in the frame buffer, MPV, like I showed you before. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we're gonna do FF play. Look at that. Yes, I know it's running slow. Just run it in your frame buffer on your normal machine. It will run fine. Now, one slight issue with uh, FF Play in the frame buffer is, hopefully this is gonna work. You have to do Control C to quit the video. And I'm not sure if the left or right keys give you functionality. It's a bit iffy. Now there probably is some options, whatever you can do, but that's for another video. I just want to show you again the magic of the frame buffer and FF Play. If you want to run as lean and as minimal as possible and half your RAM consumption while playing a video, run it in FF Play. As long as you don't want to skip through any sections maybe or whatever and run it in the frame buffer. It's better in um, i3 or uh, Wayland I'm sure, but in the frame buffer, FF Play. You just have to control C to uh, come out of it. For me, anyway. Maybe it's skill issues, I don't know. But how amazing is that? 
So not only have I shown you MPV in a previous video running in the frame buffer with your video, nice, lean and light, you can even go, f you can go even further, sorry, you can run FF Play with the video and you'll half your consumption on the RAM. How incredible is that? If you've got a low device, I mean a low, low, low spec device, how amazing that you could probably run a HD video just, mwah, you know, this this ThinkPad, okay, is it the most modern? No, but it does the job and it's perfectly fine. But in the future, with future proofing here, remember this channel is also about future proofing, use FF Play and you will half what is required to run the video as you would in MPV. I think I've repeated myself enough here, but there you go. That's it. Nice little short video. Just thought I'd show you FF Play because nobody seems to talk about it. Maybe for good reason. See what you think about it. Put it in the comments. Nice calm video today, I think. Just uh, we don't need any dramas because I was quite agitated yesterday. As you might remember my previous video, um, mapping keys in X11. So annoying. So I thought we'd treat ourselves to some frame buffer magic. No dramas. Okay, you've got a control Q instead of Q, a control C to instead of Q, if you're like me. But FF Play, mwah, brilliant. So there we go. That's the video. Um, you know what to do with a fake YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. That's it. That is it. See you next.